In the previous video, we learned that one of the important characteristics of the coordination compounds is that they are highly colorful and they can form a wide range of colors in the entire visible spectrum starting from violet to red. And in contrast, most of the compounds of main group elements are colorless or clear solutions. For example, a sodium chloride solution. In this video, we use crystal field theory to explain why coordination compounds are colorful and why the color of the coordination compound depends on the central metal ion, its charge and the ligand. First, let us discuss why some solutions are colorful while others are clear or colorless. That is, what makes a solution colorful? The white light consists of wavelengths corresponding to all seven colors in the visible spectrum, starting from violet to red. The naked eye sees the combination of all these seven colors and perceives it as white light. Let us say we pass a beam of white light through a solution which does not absorb the visible light at all or absorbs it very weakly. The light that is coming out of this solution contains all seven colors, also known as white light. As a result, the naked eye sees the solution as clear or colorless. Let us say we have another solution and this solution absorbs all the wavelengths of visible light. In this case, the solution appears black or gray. In between these two extremes, what if a solution absorbs highly around one wavelength or one color and transmits all the remaining wavelengths? What happens in that case? Let us say a solution absorbs the wavelengths around red color. The light that is coming out of the solution, that is the light that is transmitted, no longer contains the wavelengths around red color. Therefore, it does not appear as white light. The remaining wavelengths that are coming out of the solution together appear as some different color. In this case, it appears as green color. As a result, the solution appears to be green in color. The color that is absorbed and the color that is transmitted are said to be complementary colors to each other. In this case, red and green color are complementary. If a solution absorbs red color, it appears green and vice versa. A list of all complementary colors can be remembered by drawing a color wheel. First, we draw a circle and divide it into six equal parts as shown. Assign one color in the visible spectrum for each part of the circle leaving the color indigo. Violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. This is called as color wheel and it gives the relation between the color absorbed and the color transmitted, which are on the opposite sides of the circle. For example, blue and orange are complementary colors. Red and green are complementary colors. Leaves look green because they absorb its complementary color, which is red. Now, let us apply this to coordination compounds. The complex ion hexa aqua titanium 3 plus is violet in color. And based on what we discussed, the complex ion absorbs the color that is complementary to violet. That is, the wavelengths around yellow color. So the question is, 
why the hexa aqua titanium 3 plus ion absorbs wavelengths around yellow color. The energy of the absorbed photon must do something inside the complex. In the atomic structure chapter, we learned that an absorbed photon can excite an electron from a lower energy level to a higher energy level of an atom. A similar kind of electronic transition is what happens inside the titanium 3 plus ion when it absorbs a photon. The titanium 3 plus ion in the complex has an electronic configuration of argon 3d1. And based on the crystal field theory, in presence of ligands, the d orbitals of the central metal ion split into T2g and Eg orbitals. And the lone d electron in the titanium 3 plus ion is in the T2g orbitals in its ground state. When this complex ion absorbs a photon, the electron gets excited from a T2g orbital to an Eg orbital. This is called as DD electron transition. And the transition happens because of the absorbed yellow photon. We discussed earlier in the course that for a particular photon to be absorbed, the energy of the photon should be exactly equal to the energy gap between the initial and final energy levels. In this case, the energy of the photon should be equal to the energy difference between the T2g and Eg orbitals. And according to the crystal field theory, the energy gap between the T2g and Eg orbitals is called as crystal field splitting energy delta O. Therefore, we can write energy of photon is equal to delta O. And the energy of a photon can be related to its wavelength by the following formula. E photon is equal to HC over lambda photon, where H is the Planck's constant and C is the velocity of light. From these two equations, we can write crystal field splitting energy delta naught is equal to h c over lambda of photon absorbed. So, if we know the crystal field splitting energy for a complex, we can calculate the wavelength of the photon it absorbs using above equation. And if we know the wavelength of the color it absorbs, we can determine the color of the coordination complex using the color wheel. In conclusion, we can say that the color of the complex depends on the crystal field splitting energy. And the factors that can alter the crystal field splitting energy can also change the color of the complex. Now, let us try to answer the questions raised at the beginning of this video. Question number one. Why the coordination compounds are colorful while the compounds of main group elements are clear or colorless? The answer is the color of the coordination complexes arise because of the transfer of d electrons from T2g orbitals to Eg orbitals. And the d orbitals in the main group elements do not undergo splitting because there are no ligands present. Question number two. Why the color of the coordination complex changes with the central metal ion, its charge and ligands? Earlier, we discussed that the color of the coordination complex depends on crystal field splitting energy. And the crystal field splitting energy of a coordination complex varies with central metal ion, charge and ligands. Therefore, the color also changes. 
in terms of charge as the positive charge on the central metal ion increases the ligands move closer which increases the repulsion between the ligands and d orbitals as a result the crystal field splitting energy increases and the wavelength of the color that the compound absorbs decreases in terms of ligands as the field strength of the ligand increases the repulsion between the ligands and d orbitals increases as a result the crystal field splitting energy increases and the wavelength of the color that the compound absorbs decreases these are the specific learning objectives for this video examine how crystal field theory can be used to explain the optical properties of coordination complexes and explain the origin of color in terms of oxidation states and ligands.